Okay, this is easily the coldest hike I've ever done in my life. But the sun has just set and uh, it is just so beautiful. That no, blow me, that is the town of Minturn where I live. That's where the bunkhouse is, which is the hostel I work at. I just hiked up there, it took like two hours. And it is windy and just absolutely frigid, the sun setting, but man, is it just absolutely spectacular. Like, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, but this might be like the coldest I've, I've been like ever in my life. Like I'm just freezing right now. I'm gonna drop some of these photos in here as well. So you can see tomorrow I'm going snowmobiling because we're gonna be like promoting it through the hostel for guests and stuff. So that's super cool. I'm really excited for that. Oh, oh, Good morning. So yeah, we're going snowmobiling today. And there's a bunch of snowmobiles over here, which is really cool. It's actually not too cold, which is good. But I'm like super layered up and I'm pretty excited because I've never snowmobiled before, which yeah, so I'm just really excited about it. I think it's gonna be awesome. Well, we are ready to go. Hopefully you can hear me right now. But yeah, ton of snowmobiles. Got helmets, goggles, all that good stuff. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. Be a lot of people, but should be pretty cool. I'm quite excited for this. I'm gonna try and bring up the GoPro yeah, well, and film some with that because I'm not gonna use this camera on the snowmobile, obviously. Give us your soul. We're roughly 10,500 feet right here. We can get up these mountains pretty quick on the right trails and stuff like that. Normally, it's hidden right now, so can't really say much about it, but Holy Cross, Mount of the Holy Cross is off in the distance, as I'm sure you guys are aware. So we're going to go up here just a few more minutes. There's going to be a small turnaround, and I'm going to take you up to the top of these mountains before this weather comes in here. And we can't see much of anything. It's dangerous up there if you're up there in a the snowstorm. Up to about 11,700 feet. I want to shred. Shred. I want to shred too. Put out the snow blades. Who wants to Sweet. Traveling from the deep forest into the sun In war, there's never an option to run Really cold. 11,700 feet below sea level. And it's, uh, snow is coming down. Yep. Pretty awesome weather's coming in though. So, I guess we're going to continue on. Continue on our journey. But yeah, it's really cold, but super awesome. It's cold, it's snowing. Man, it is awesome. And Jared is a really cool run on the skis coming down the hill there. That was really cool. Pretty cool. Can't complain for my first time snowmobiling. Pretty good time so far. Really, really enjoying it. I think we got a bit longer. We got to head back up the hill here and then uh, take some trails down the other side. But the weather is rolling in. Lane is struggling to. Uh, how do you know which way it's get going? through the snow? What's going on? How do you? Is it this way? It is. The, it's filming right now. Yeah, I know. There you go. But that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand. What's going on? <laughs> oh, snow wheels going. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have any fun here. No fun at all. Not, not one bit. <laughs> well, that was pretty awesome. We're gonna get some food now. So I'm starving after that, but that was really cool, so. But yeah, I'm hungry. I'm gonna grab some food. So good, but it's so bad. I know. <laughs> Give me that cheese, man. That 
done that was really awesome we're at a nova guides at camp hale which is like 25 30 minutes from intern which is where the bunkhouse is at the hostel that i'm working at yeah we got to do that for free it's kind of like a thing for the bunkhouse we're gonna be promoting them through the bunkhouse so we got to do it for free which is super cool and like my gopro stopped working <laughs> because it got too cold but i pulled out this camera and was able to use this one so yeah that was really fun one last look at the mountains. We're heading back now, though. All right, so that was really awesome. Um, unfortunately, like, my GoPro, like, it was, like, so cold that, like, halfway through the ride, my GoPro just, like, stopped working. And apparently, I, I don't know, like, never had that happen before. But, um, yeah, it just wouldn't even turn on. So, like, the last half of, like, our ride, I couldn't even use the GoPro. And I used this this camera, which is my Panasonic G85. Um as well as I could, which obviously this is much, does a much better of a job than the GoPro would, but it's like, it's a little bit more like fragile. So, um, you know, I tried to film as much as I could, but the second half there was pretty crazy. Like the snow started coming down, the wind was blowing, and it was, it was cold, but it was super cool. Thanks to uh, Nova Guides for letting us do that for free. Um, all the staff here at the bunkhouse, that was like super cool. They uh, let us do that. That was really awesome. Like we got like a free meal and the ride was free and like everything, it was just great. So yeah, that was really awesome. Anyway, this is like the main common room in the bunkhouse, the hostel I live at and work at. Um, you'll probably be seeing more of this in the future. I want to kind of do, do a video here soon that kind of talks more about my living situation here and, you know, talks more about this place because this is kind of how I'm, I'm doing this right now. So that'll be coming in a future video. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, but yeah, like subscribe if you want to see more videos about Colorado winter and adventures and travel and filmmaking and photography and all that kind of cool stuff. Because um, there'll be a lot more coming in the future. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, oh,